Good evening and thank you for joining us. 18 months ago, a violent and senseless crime took the life of 20-year-old Jesse Penner in Port Coquitlam. Now, since then, his parents have been on an emotional roller coaster, grieving the loss of their son, watching the trial of his killer unfold, and fighting the justice system for what they call a ridiculous jail sentence that could see the teen killer freed in just over three years. But tonight, the Penner family has a reason to smile, thanks to an incredible act of kindness from a group of people they've never met. Back in June, Gord was overwhelmed remembering how Jesse wanted to start making repairs to the family home. So he said, you know, Dad, now it's time and uh, we're going to start getting this place fixed up. And you know what? It wasn't even two weeks later. And he was gone. Touched by his grief, the Cornerstone Seventh-day Adventist Community Church in Coquitlam has offered to make the home repairs for free through their annual home team program. The Penners will be their very first project. Um, they haven't had the time and the energy to put into, into the house, and uh, there were projects that, uh, uh, prior to uh, Jesse's death uh, that were started but just went on hold. And uh, uh, once we had a chance to uh, meet with the Penners, we felt that uh, it was a wise choice. Yeah. We feel very uncomfortable with this. We're, we're givers, and to receive this help is pretty overwhelming. Well, um, I guess we could say we're, we're anxious and excited at the same time. Um, it's pretty overwhelming that uh, we've got this kind of support and uh, I, I think that uh, coming back to our house and it will be decluttered and, mm -hmm. and fresh and new I think will be um, really uh, good for us. Looking forward to getting away and not having a telephone and a television and we'll look at some wildlife and see some beautiful scenery and I'm uh, excited to come home but I'm nervous at the same time and um, I'm anticipating um, being pleased I think probably uh, there'll be a lot of emotion but I think it'll be a lot of good emotion too. You know what to make a uh, just a horrific situation better it softens, this, it a little it bit. softens yeah. the edges the edges are very sharp mm. so this has really been something we just can't say enough and, and thanks to everybody we're lucky to have so many friends. See you when we get back, eh? Bye! Car behind you here. Bye, you guys.
Hi, I'm Ken Mayhew, uh, President of Penfolds Roofing. We're only too happy to be here today to come and help the penners in this uh, real worthy cause. Uh, we are happy to be able to donate the roof for them and um, all the guys working here, all my workers have volunteered their own time. A special thank you also to Cedar Grove, they donated the material and we're just really happy to be here to help, to help the penners in this uh, real worthy cause. Thank you. Uh, what got me involved with, of course, Russ and his initial phone call to put in some countertops. I just happened to know Gordy from the past. I actually uh, was able to spend a summer with him when we were younger, playing around. So, uh, of course, you know, once reading reading that what they had gone through and how much Gordy had been trying to do stuff for us, uh, he naturally just gets involved and uh, drawn into the process. It's a great thing. Awesome. We're happy for all the suppliers and what they've done and the all the guys that have done with Tim Shirley's pot here, you have a pot of lentil soup. <laughs> and in Joan's pot, we have a pot of minestrone and all for the Italians. <laughs> so we're not... It's nice every once in a while if we can help out uh, one of our own members. So, and Gordy is, he works in media maintenance and uh, he's been a member of the uh, IUPAT for a long, long time, many years. So, it's just an opportunity for us to help in the community and to help one of our own. Near Mars. Yes, sir. Go! A new record for the three.